hello guys so welcome to this youtube channel please i would like you to subscribe to this youtube channel and hit the notification bell to get updated each time we upload a video so today we'll be looking at introduction to gamma function i'm going to be looking at gamma function from the very beginning so for instance if we are given a gamma function a gamma function is expressed in this form this is this sign stands for gamma function and if i give the a gamma function gamma alpha now the expression of this is integral from zero to infinity of exponential minus x x reciprocal of alpha minus one dx this is our general expression for gamma function so a general expression this is for all alpha greater than zero that means your alpha value has to be equal to one two down the lane so this is what you have now this is the formula for gamma function now supposing you have gamma alpha plus one now supposing you have gamma alpha plus one what is this going to give you uh, this is going to be equal to integral from zero to infinity now of exponential exponential minus x x raised power of now instead of putting gamma to be alpha minus one you have you have that uh, alpha to be x plus one so this is going to be a uh, raised power of you substitute um alpha here with x plus one this will be alpha plus one minus one dx so what would this give you that implies that this will turn to zero to infinity of exponential minus x no plus one minus one is the same thing as as is zero so you are going to have x raised power of alpha dx x raised power of alpha dx so this what you have now in this case now this leads us to integration by part this leads us to integration by part so let's integrate this now from here we are going to find our v to be equal to x raised power of alpha let's take our v to be x raised power of alpha now if you differentiate the v here of course you know you are going to be having alpha x raised power of alpha minus one dx dx so now let's take our um, exponential minus x here to be the u exponential minus x to be u now u if we integrate this now if we integrate exponential minus x you are going to have minus exponential minus x so this is what you have as your as your u now from the formula of uh, integration by part this is going to be uv minus integral of uh, minus integral of u dv so this is what we have so we're going to work with this so we're going to work with that so now this is going to give us remember this is alpha plus one gamma alpha plus one is going to be equal to now we're going to substitute all of this to this formula uv this is our u this is our v so we're going to have minus x raised power of alpha exponential minus alpha taking the m from zero to infinity minus integral from zero to infinity now we have u dv now this is our u and this is our dv so this is going to be minus exponential minus x alpha x raised power of alpha minus one dx but then look at this now this minus can go outside and this alpha can actually go outside so that implies that you have now let's also substitute this now let's take this limit if you take this uh x raised power of infinity you know this is definitely going to turn to zero so the whole of this turns to zero the whole of this turns to zero then this minus will strike this minus here to become plus and this alpha will come out you are going to have zero plus alpha integral from zero to infinity of exponential minus x x raised power of alpha minus one dx now let's compare this all right let's compare this now let's compare this with this 
compare these two score that they are the same so it is safe to say now that gamma alpha plus one is equal to alpha gamma alpha it is safe to say this it is safe to come to this conclusion because this is the same thing as your uh, gamma alpha so this is what we have please take note of this take note of this so from here you can also generate a formula gamma alpha plus one is equal to alpha gamma alpha so you should know that this is also implies that gamma alpha is equal to gamma alpha plus one divided by alpha so this is also another formula this formula is used for all gamma for all sorry this formula is used for all uh, gamma less than zero is used for all gamma less than zero now if you have a, a value of gamma to be to be less than zero you can use this formula to compute it you can use this formula to compute it so now that is what we have so we have established this fact here now we have established this fact so this is the very beginning and introduction of gamma function please if you like this video please i would like you to subscribe to this youtube channel and hit the notification bell to get updated each time we upload a, a, a video now in our next video we are going to be finding gamma of very simple numbers to just to make sure that we understand this concept this very introduction very well so please slide into the next video to see how we can compute gamma of numbers thank you